Okay, now we're going to work on the front label of the book. A little label on the front here. And all I use is little bits and pieces of scrap that I have left over from other projects. I have my little scrap box here. And I normally start with a piece of the scrap booking cardstock that I'm using. Um, and this one I use the cardstock in the back, then the craft paper, then tea stain paper. But with this one I think I'm going to start with the craft paper, then add the cardstock, and then add the tea stain paper. Just like that. So that was the kind of the layers we're going to get. So I, magic of the camera. This is how far I've got for my battery died earlier. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut and leave one eighth of an inch around the outside of the label. There we go. So that will give us our label for the front. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Now I always put a label on the front just so you can label your journal. You can call it a notebook, a journal, expenses, medical, whatever you want to call your little notebook. It gives you, or even just put your name on it if that's what you want to do. But it's just a way of identifying your little notebook. I think I'm going to turn that around. So I just eyeball it and place it on the front cover. So there's the front one done. Now for the inside notebook, I normally create a tag as well, and I'm trying to decide because with this uh, scrapbooking paper came all kinds of little cutouts that you could use. And I found this one, it says friends and family, and I was thinking of gluing that one on there and then it wouldn't have a label. If I put the little label on, then we can call it something. We're already naming them. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Let's make it fun. Let's use up some of the stuff they gave us. So we're going to go ahead and put this on instead of a label. And again, you want to make sure you get right close to the edge so that little edges don't pop up. When you're opening and closing your notebook, you don't want it to get caught on something. Okay, so let's close that up. And we're going to do it this way. Right like that. There. So the two little labels I'm going to put in front. Now for the inside, um, I was going to create some little um, curling cards and I've cut these and again these have like a little curl for when you slice it you get like a little curl that comes up so I always make sure that I just rub my um, bone folder on the edges so that when you're tea staining you don't you get a darker line if you've got a little curl there it kind of just sits in the curl so I just make sure that I rub those really securely and these are just scraps from pieces that I've cut so I'm going to go ahead and use See which one? Well, they're all the same size, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I use this one, and again, I want to round my corners. So I'm just going to punch the corner really quickly. And then we're just going to quickly distress the edges. Now I do have a couple of little stamps and I did use them for some of my other journals um, and I'm going to go ahead and use it for this. I'm trying to show you all the different techniques that I used in all my different other journals. Kind of all in one. So this one's going to have absolutely everything. <laughs> Alright, so we just dress that. And then I have this little stamp. I'm going to use the stamp pad me as well. And it says notes on it. So I'm just going to stamp it. So 
it says notes. And then I've got these little square boxes here. Let me see this guy over. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some of these little boxes in there. Like that. And then I just take my brown marker and my ruler. And I go ahead and make some lines going across. Just something to make it like a little list, a bucket list. Something like that, or notes. Again, if you turn it into like a little um, doctor's notebook for keeping things, you could write down dates on here, um, symptoms, whatever. You could make it your own. And you can use both sides of the card. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and add the lines. And then this will tuck inside the little pocket of the journal on the inside. Okay. So we're going to cut that inside there. Okay. And that's that. And then I've made another one for the back. And again, you can use both sides. So there's our little journal done. Now for this side, Hmm, what am I going to change? Um, on the inside, this little card, the scrap that I was using has swirls on the back. So I decided to change that out and use this because it's white on the back. And I've gone ahead and T-stained it. And I'm going to slide that in there. And then that way you can journal on the back of it instead of me having to add paper to the other one. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Then on the inside, hmm. I have these glassine envelopes, but I find the glue is hard to stick to some of these, so I actually have gone to a little local restaurant, um, it's called the Shrimp Basket, and you get your forks served in these little bags, so I save them whenever we go, and I just cut it down to a more suitable size for the journal, and I've made a little line going across, and I'm just going to cut off the front bit here. Like that. I'm just going to cut off this front bit. Like that. Round the edges. There we go. There you go. So there's my little envelope. And then I've just found a little scrap piece of that cardstock, and I think I'm just going to glue it to the front. And then I'm actually going to place it here. And then I can maybe stick something inside. Now these little bags that I got from the um, shrimp basket, I think it was, they're paper. So they're, they're easier to work with than the glassine envelopes. You see, sometimes the glue just kind of peels off the glassine envelope. Put that down there. So we're going to go ahead and glue that to the front of the little bag, like that, and then I'm going to glue the bag here. And we can just add a little tag or something and use it. We can maybe store extra business cards in there, the little blank business cards. I think I might store a couple of extras in there. I'll just look through my scraps and see if I can find a couple of extras. We're going to go ahead and do that and glue that one right here. There. Now for here, I have a little bag of paper scraps that I've cut out of old journals. Um, some of the little envelopes and stuff are in here. And I had these little pieces left over that I had cut out of a, an old journal or notebook. There's only about five pages here. So I'm going to take a little scrap of 
cardstock and I've cut it to fit and I've folded it in half and I'm just going to attach it to the top of the little notebook of the little paper and I'm going to staple this and then I'm going to glue this in here. I'm going to cut it off a little bit more, but I'm going to glue that in here so then we have like a little place where you can make a little list. So I'm just going to grab my stapler. And I'm going to staple this on like that. And then I'm going to cut it off, say right about here. And then that's going to fit in there. And I'm just going to glue that in. To the back. Right on this little cardstock piece. Like that. And we'll go ahead and put that on there. There we go. Now you can take little bits and scraps and add some decoration to the bottom of some of your pages. I have all these little bits and pieces. You can add little decorative pieces here. I'm going to let that dry. I'm happy with that. And then these they're pretty plain, so sometimes I'll add like a little piece of paper across the bottom like that, which I'm going to go ahead and do because I'm going to add a tab to the top that will match that. Let me grab a napkin here and get some of this glue. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto the journaling card. This is the bottom here somewhere. Just to give it a little color. There, and we're just going to turn that off. And then I'm going to take I'm going to put another little scrap. And I'm going to fold it in half. If I can do this, fold it in half. Now I have this tab punch and if you put your paper in and put it up against the edge here but do not let it go past so you can see a little gap if you punch your tab <laughs> the fold will stay. As long as you don't cut that fold then you can add a little tab to the top. I'm going to add it to the side because this one goes in and I find sometimes it goes in a little too far and I can't grab the journaling card. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the side of this card. So that when it's tucked into this little spot I can reach it. There. So I'm just going to glue that on side. Just like that. So now, when we tuck it back in, we can get at it. And I'm just going to do the same thing to this little one that's on the other side here. I think I have enough to do another tab. Let's see. Sometimes it's hard to get in there because it's such a skinny little spot. Let's see. <laughs> it's gonna bite me. There we go. I'm just gonna make sure you get it over far enough. Get over. There we go. And you just want to make sure you pull it down enough so that the fold at the top is not gonna get cut. And it's not going to work for me because it's going to give me a hard time. There we go. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, I will fill with that a little bit later. But I am going to add another little piece of decorative trim to this.
Use up some of my scraps. I'm just going to glue that on there. Cut off the excess. And there we go. Okay. It's not letting go of me, that little piece of paper. There we go. Now on the back here, well, I'm waiting for this to dry and I'll figure out the tab in a minute. I do have this little envelope. Now this is that kind of shiny, it's not quite vellum, maybe it is vellum and it's not the, as shiny as other ones. I've used two-sided tape and I'm going to go ahead and try this and see if it will stick. So I put some tape on there and I think I'm going to add this to the back of the notebook. I'll dump that one in my tea. <laughs> Go my finger. There. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stick this on the back of the little notebook. And I might make a little um, notebook out of that scrap paper that I had left over from when I made this. So let's add that. And then I have this little piece of decorative trim. I think I'm going to add that to the little envelope just to give it something because it's kind of white. So let's go ahead and stick that on. Bottom of the envelope, like that. Make it six. I'm going to grab my little Velcro tab. I'm going to take the white fuzzy one and I put him on the top, like that. And you take the harder plastic. And you want to keep the sticky side up and the put them together more or less like you're closing it and then you're just going to close the envelope and push and then when you lift it up it's actually where you want it. So we got that one there. Alright, what else are we going to work on here? So there's a scrap paper back in my bin. So there was all kinds of different little pieces that came with this um, kit and I think I'm just going to add this one into the front as another little journaling card. Let's show that under there. There's another little journaling card there. We have this. Now you can write on this side so that's okay. So maybe we can add something to this. Maybe, yeah, let's add a little pizzazz to this tag. It's kind of boring. even. Cut off the excess. There you go. We've got that tag there. And you can add little things up on the top. Maybe like that little remember there. Let's try and just cut this off. And let's cut that off. And let's see if it fits. Put that on there. Got a little tag here. Actually, I'm going to round my corners just because I like rounded corners. Let's round them out. There we go. And I think that, uh, other than the cord, I think that's everything. We'll go ahead and add that little cord. And I think we're all done. Now you could go on forever decorating these with pockets and tags and whatnot, so have fun with it. Come up with some great ideas. There's our little tag, he's all dry. And he slides back under there. Like that. We've got our journaling card, we've got our pocket, we'll have to make a tag for that. We've got our little notebook page. Um, so we'll make some more business cards to fit in there. And if we have any scraps, like this is a leftover scrap, 
And again, a business card is two inches by three and a half. So I'll just cut that to two inches. And then three and a half. And then we've got an extra little business card that we can just fit in there. And I might make up a couple more and we'll just throw them in there. So that's done. We have our little notebook with our notes. We have our little envelope, and I'd like to try and make a little, I could say a little notebook. I could feel that it's starting to get very, very full. <laughs> it's starting to bulge at the seams. Here it is. I took a piece of this scrap paper, and I folded it in half, and then I cut it back to a size that I thought might be nice for inside the little... And then this is my scrap leftover paper. He fits in there nicely, and I'm just going to make a line and cut this off. And my glue is oozing like crazy. Let's just close that up. Okay. Let me make a line with our pencil. We get our sharp knife and our ruler. And you want to cut it back. There's my pencil line. We want to go back a couple of, about an eighth of an inch. And just cut this off. And these go into my bin and I can use those for some labels. That will go in there. And I'll sew that and then I'll actually fit it inside the little envelope. And we'll have a little notebook. Like that. So I'm just going to make a tab for this and insert it in there. And that. And then what I do is I take a little eyelet and I punch it and I use some elastic. So I think I'm going to use the let's do the white. So all you do is hold it there, wrap it around, and give yourself another quarter of an inch. Like that. We're gonna tie the ends. We're gonna take a a lighter or a cigarette lighter or a match and you're just going to burn those in so they don't keep fraying and then I'm going to punch an eyelet here thread this through the eyelet like this <laughs> pinch it thread it through the eyelet and the knot stops it and then you just Pop it around. So we're going to go ahead and pop the eyelid in there, and I will try and make that tab. Okay, so I've gone ahead and punched the hole for the elastic, and I've used my little eyelid. Um, I punched some reinforcement reinforcement holes from a scrapbooking piece of cardstock, and I put them underneath the eyelid just to give it a little bit of thickness. I find these eyelids are very very um, long and you have to really squinch them. So I've gone ahead and done that and I, we saw me tie my elastic. So we just feed the elastic through the eyelet and pull it through. <laughs> Let's try that again. Pull it and pull it through. And then when you close it up, it just goes around the book like that. Now I still have to burn off the end. Um, for the tag, I did go ahead and get that little tag tab punched. It took me about five minutes. <laughs> so good thing I didn't tape it or you'd be watching me struggle with my tab punch. It's just when the pieces are quite small, they're hard to get inside the machine and then not punch on the fold. You have to make sure that fold is there or else you won't get a double-sided tab. And this one is going in this way, so let's put it this way. On this side, like that. Okay, so he slides in there, like that. Oh, well, he might stick out a bit because I've gone to put this eyelid in there. Hmm. So to fix that, I'm just gonna cut a little tiny bit off my drawing card. Go ahead and 
round the edges and just to stretch the edges a bit. Like that. There we go. And now it fits. Perfect. Now for the little booklet, I went ahead and sewed my pages in, and then I stuck a little My Friends, uh, one of the little um, pieces that came with the scrapbooking. I'm just going to slide that back in there. So there's our little mini notebook. Okay. Um, I've gone ahead and added a little bit here, Free Spirit, onto this side. So on this one, love this card, it says, Today has been cancelled. Go back to bed. So I'm going to glue this on here. Into this little piece. And then we're just going to make sure we've got all the pieces intact and then we'll just do a, a quick flip through. And then we're done. It takes a, um, a, a while. If you're going to continue to um, decorate or add more things, again, it will take longer. It depends on what you want to add to it. We're going to open up this. And I did cut a few more of these little business cards. Um, I'm going to take this one out and add this one here. A little more color. And I think the one at the back, I'm going to do the same thing. There. Okay. So there is our finished notebook. And because you need the elastic because they can get quite juicy and thick. So we've added our label. We've got a little tab here. Added our thing. Here's our journaling card that we can get at now and slide it back in there. We've got our journaling card here. Just need to slide back underneath the little tab. We've got a journaling spot here. We've got a, I just tucked the card back in there. There's a journaling spot here. Your business card and another tag. And it Velcro's closed. We've got our little notebook with our notes here. Your tea stain pages, another note there. Your little notebook inside with your tea stain paper that you made from scraps that were left over from this notebook. Here's your little notebook, note card, another journaling spot here, your tag, your business card, and another journaling card. And you just close it all up and add your tag. And there you go. We've walked you through how to make a little notebook using craft card stock as your cards as your base, envelopes as your base, um, and some scrapbooking paper. Thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had to make it in two parts. It kind of took me a little longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for